So in Western medicine, when we take the pulse, we always use two fingers on the radio pulse, mm -hmm. and it's always a measure of rate, rhythm, contour, and amplitude. These are all measuring uh, the heart and the heart efficiency. In traditional Chinese medicine and also Ayurvedic medicine, they use three pulses, three pulse points. There's a superficial and a deep. Each pulse point has a, a, a correlation to an organ. So three organs, three organs, both sides, 12 organs. On the superficial layer on the right, it goes large intestine, uh, excuse me, large intestine, stomach, and the adrenal gland and thyroid. And then on the deeper layer, it goes lung, spleen, and then organs of reproduction. So we'll do the right side first. Very faint, very quiet and smooth pulse. Good, you don't have much of an extreme in either direction. It's very, very centered. Now, your small intestine, or excuse me, your large intestine is bumping a little bit, like this is where your colon is. So that just, Right now, it feels like it's it's working, but if I had to say, it, it feels like it's tight, so it's like uh, over contracted intestine. We'll see when we get to the small intestine on the other side. But is your digestive system is it usually faster or slower? I would say slower. I based on, yeah, I was gonna say I say slower. Yeah, based on your pulse, it feels like it's like you you probably get backed up more so than the other way. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Um, your stomach is okay. You don't have any, uh, your stomach feels like it's okay. So you don't have any, any acid reflux or heartburn or anything like that. Mm -mm. Okay, good. And then, you know, there could be just a little bit more coming out of the adrenal gland, uh, adrenal gland thyroid. You've never had to have blood tests for your thyroid or anything like that. No. Okay, that's fine. Uh, how's your energy level? <laughs> Probably could be better, but... Be better. Okay. Is it difficult to wake up in the morning? Yeah. Or do you get tired? Do you get tired throughout the day? Yes. <laughs> okay. Do you take a nap? I always take naps. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to push down to the deeper layer. Okay, so um, there's not much coming out of the lung. There, you never, never any asthma. Mm -mm. Were you ever a smoker? No. Okay, spleen I like here too. Uh, spleen seems okay. It, it, it seems like actually, so uh, the spleen's good. So you don't have any major like infections or anything like that. Do you get sick often? Do you have? Do you get like cold, sinusy stuff? Yeah. Frequently. I would say more than normal. <laughs> okay. Okay, and then the reproductive system is bumping too. So, do you are you on birth control? Mm-hmm. Do you still have a period? Yeah. <laughs> Once a month. Yeah. Okay, so it's probably, since you're being regulated, it's probably pretty serious, or excuse me, pretty consistent, right? It's mm -hmm. usually 28 days. Mm -hmm. um, it's working really hard right now, so I would probably say you're, it feels like you're just about to have it. I just got over it. Oh, you just got over it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, <laughs> went in the other direction. Okay, let's get this to the left side. Okay, good. Let that relax here. Same thing. Now on the superficial, on this side, it goes small intestine, gallbladder, urinary bladder.
Yeah, so it's, it contrasts the large, the small intestine and the large intestine are like going in opposite directions, whereas your colon is working super hard, but your small intestine feels like it's like lazy, sluggish. So that would lead to the symptoms that you're having. So how much water do you drink, first of all? I have no idea. More than I used to. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Let me see your tongue. Let's look at your tongue. Okay, not too bad, not too dehydrated. You're, are you, are you, you like sugar? I guess. Not, a, <laughs> not like a thing thing, but you're not like a snack or sugar treats every day kind of thing. Mm, can't like candy. <laughs> Okay, I'm okay with the urinary bladder. No urinary tract infections. Mm -hmm. Gallbladder is good. We're gonna go down to the deep layer. Then it goes kidney, liver, heart. I'm okay with all of these. Okay, I'm okay with those. Okay, one more. Do you know what the chakras are? I know of them, but... <laughs> These are just like dense and like places in your body where the energy is more dense. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, there's a way to read the chakras through the pulse. It's actually on the sixth layer. So we're going to go all the way down to the deep and then come back one. Okay, so I got third chakra, so we're going to do it one more time. Okay, all right, so what that means for your, this is your, your willpower energy, your will chakra. And so this is like decisiveness, decision making, okay? You want to be a business owner, especially restaurant business, you got to learn how to make quick decisions. Mm -hmm. The longer you wait, the more money it costs, always. That's in your personal life too, but definitely in business. Mm -hmm. But it feels like that, um, I think that even like, you, you probably would even have a little bit more energy too. You, you would feel more energy if you weren't so drained from having to like, try to think about what to do as much or like have to try to, um, you know, be caught in between two places. It feels like caught in between two places and you have to decide which way to go. And no matter which way you choose is the right way. Even if you, you know, there's no, when, whenever you look back onto something, you can at least appreciate it for what you learned. And so, especially in business, but even in real life, there are no wrong decisions. You can make decisions that turn out better in certain ways, but that, that wasn't meant for you. So, uh, what's meant for you will come, Alexis, for sure. And, uh, and then, so what it feels like is like, uh, this, this energy, coldness, this sluggishness in your digestive system is all wrapped to the same thing. And, uh, right now you, you're getting away with, I don't want to say get away with it because it's like. It's just the way that it is when you're under 30. You're like, what, are you 24? Yeah. 24. Okay, so you're practicing now. This is all about practice. and uh, But the real stuff that's coming for you that you want, because you have it inside of you, you, you know, I said, what do you really want to be? And you were like, I, I really want a business. And when you said that, it was the loudest that you were, like your volume. It wasn't too loud, I just noticed volume. Mm -hmm. But like your volume really went up and we were just like, I, I really would like to have a business. And so you don't want to work for anybody, okay? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and the only way you can not work for anybody is if you learn how to direct yourself. And your willpower is all about your direction. You think about something, okay, whether it exists or not, you can create things too, or something that already exists that you want to go after. You create it, and then you walk towards it. You make steps and changes and decisions, and you spend money and time that are going to create that end 
goal for you. So, um, yeah, like goal making is not really my thing, five year, 10 year, whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, however, in this particular circumstance, um, there's a lot that you're going to uncover. You know what I mean? Like, so you're young, so you still have a lot of learning left to do, a lot of practicing left to do. But ultimately, you, the, your lower chakras feel good. Like, you're, do, you, do you live near your family? Yeah, you live near your family. Yeah. Um, your parents still together? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like your, your root chakra, you, you haven't had a whole lot of disruption in the energy chakra that like binds you to the earth. You're here, you're good, you know what you're doing. Um, and then like your, and then like the next chakra up is very relationship oriented. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you, you seem like a balanced diplomatic person, peacekeeper. You have any brothers or sisters? Mm -hmm. yeah. Are you in the middle? I'm the oldest. Of? There's five of us. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's, so you were not forced, but you had to do things for your younger siblings. And so that created like this, like almost like duty, this job that you were fulfilling at a very young age. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Kids aren't asked, they don't ask to be put in that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And that may not particularly have been your thing. Um, <laughs> you, you don't seem like a, like a, uh, like, not like a child. I mean, like, like, like some people you can just tell they're, they're caretaker child oriented. They yeah. see children and oh, they lose their minds. Doesn't seem like you. No. <laughs> you, you, so you were doing something that you didn't, that you're not naturally inclined to do, which means you learned how to do it, which means it was a growing process doing all that. And you're a kid anyway, so who cares? You don't miss anything by playing on the playground instead of taking care of your little sister. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter. You didn't really miss anything. You gained way more experience. Um, hold on. It was right there. Now it's escaping me. Okay. So you went through that experience where it kind of like held you back in a way, because you were you you have to do this, as all children have to do what their parents say. But now you don't have that attachment anymore. Okay, your family is still around, so you're still here. So mm -hmm. you, so you do have the relational attachment. Your your relation chakra is fine, but now it's different. Now it's about you stepping. I just keep seeing you stepping. Why do I keep seeing you walking towards something? I don't know what that is. Do you walk? No, you don't exercise, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Maybe it's because you have to walk before you have to run, and uh, and ultimately I think that you you're you're made to go fast, um, and you're made to spread out right. That's so your dandelion tattoo. Yeah. Right. Tattoos are like dreams. You know what I mean? Like the subconscious is being worked out, right? Mm -hmm. And so same thing when you get a tattoo. They always have deeper symbolic meanings, even if you don't think that they do. But the dandelion <laughs> is the symbol of spreading out. You know yeah. what I mean? You just and blow like on growing and... wherever you're planted. Which yes, is... exactly. Wherever life plants, you bloom with grace. <laughs> what is it? Wherever life plants, you bloom with grace. Mm. Yeah, that's cool. That's good. But, uh, uh, and, and that's important to keep that in mind. But I want you to know it's okay to be sloppy while you're doing it. Mm -hmm. Make mistakes. Dig things up. Make a mess. You don't like messes, do you? Mm. Yeah. Only if it's my mess. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm allowed to have a mess. Okay. No one else is. <laughs> fair. Okay, fair. Actually, not fair. What am I talking about? It's not fair. But the point is, is that, um, okay. Yeah, and so like you have the honeycomb too. That's worker bee. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Worker bee mentality, subconscious, dandelion spread around. Like you're meant for something big. This entire planet is... Uh, is is capable of being reached almost everyone has connection to the internet you know what I mean so mm -hmm. like there are a lot of people out there and a lot of them are, are waiting for something that you have some kind of gift um, it, it, I don't think it's starting a bar but however that doesn't mean it's not mm -hmm. part of your path mm -hmm. you know it's absolutely a great learning experience to be in the restaurant industry everyone should wait tables at some point in their life mm -hmm. You, technically, when they're early, it'd be better. Um, <laughs> but um, so there is a, uh, mm, yeah, there's more left there for you to, to, to find out in your journey. I'm excited for you to find out. All right, do you have any questions about that or anything? I don't, but that was interesting. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's pretty good. That's um, weird. You're like spot on with things, and I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you told me, your, your pulse told me. Yeah, but that's know. weird, because like, I don't know. Not that I never believed in that stuff, but like, mm -hmm. I never 
adventured into it. Gotcha. So, mm -hmm. but I know a lot of, like, I work with some girls that are into, like, astrology. And yes. Like and I'm just kind of like, hmm, whatever makes you happy. Like, yeah, I don't sure. know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't seem too concerned about it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, well, the thing, I'm a man of science always. Uh, that's how I found my way here. But, uh, there's definitely things beyond science, mm -hmm. but I don't even think I, I wasn't even beyond science actually in this point, mm -hmm. but there are ways to um, make your instrument more sensitive to your environment. And so my instrument is sensitive to people. And I know that there's more than back pain and neck pain going on when people lay on my table. Mm -hmm. And so I just naturally, I, and also I was taught very well by my mentors mm -hmm. to, um, uh, to provide uh, <laughs> a, a space for people yeah. to grow. Yeah. That's cool. cool. Awesome. You did a great job. Thanks. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah. I try. I do my best all the time. <laughs>